डेप्यूटी सरपंच साहब सरपंच So then everyone uh, at some point has a voice. Yes. Yeah. But still they have to be given a lot of strength, sir. Yeah. Yes. A lot, lot of them are still deprived, a lot of them don't speak out still. Some people really are for women and three for men coming in and serving the whole village. They surveyed the whole village. How many women stay here? What is the age? How many men stay here? What is the age? What is the age of the young people? How many kids are there? What are the general illnesses they have? And what is the water supply? Where do they drink the water? Because 80% of the disease come from the water. So they say, what is the water source for them? So they looked after all these things and tried to tell them that what can be done to improve your life? What can be done in small ways? So as I told you the example of the hand pump oil comes. Right, right. So they, they wanted a reason to talk to them. So they introduced the hand pump. So we are going to give you a hand pump if you'll need it. They said, of course, we need a hand pump, sir. There's irregularity of electricity, we can't get, we don't get good water supply. Then they say, okay, now you get, collectively you get ready. If someone from the village says, I'll give 5,000, a big shot like me, if I say, I'll give 5,000, the SCC said, no, we're not giving the hand pump. But if all the people collectively collecting 10 rupees, 20 rupees, 5 rupees, and they collect 5,000 rupees, then we are giving a hand pump. So they thought it was something from us, within us. I told you, the right. Chief Minister, ex-Chief Minister scheme, which really changed the life. Because 10 lakh rupees was the most amount you can get. And 10 lakhs can really do a big development work in a village like this. So 10 lakhs were given if we paid up 1 lakh 50,000 rupees. From collective, all collecting donations from the whole village. And this really made a difference. If 10 lakhs came into this village, they had very, they have all uh, got cement roads. Before they had to walk on mucky mud over here. It rained, it was really, it was really in a mess. So now they have RCC roads in the villages because of the scheme. And when HCC was here, the changing of the mentality of the people, I give you, it, it is the biggest example in the world, I think. Out of the 11 talukas, the amount which came from the central, uh, from the state government to the taluka to be distributed around this scheme, 40% of the amount alone a Kulkot taluka. You, may, you can imagine 10 talukas having the same population, even bigger. They were all put into the 60%. 10 talukas. And that means they got 6%. And we got 40% of the amount. It was really a very big surprise. And we told them, this is because HCC was here in every village, day and night. The minister could not speak to you in English, but he said, wherever I was roaming around in the night, he works around 12 to 1 o'clock yeah. in the night. He said, I would find the HCC jeep coming in front of me. <laughs> and the HCC, that time project in charge of Mr. Suryavansi, he's in Andaman now. So he doesn't have one leg right from here. He has an artificial leg. I, I've met him. Yes. Yeah. So whenever he used to try to get down from his jeep, to adjust his leg. So the minister would say, Mr. Suryavansi, just wait, I'll get down. You don't get down. You're working so much for us. For the people of Akkal wow. So you stay in a jeep, I'll come and meet you. Wow. It was such a thing. They're really hardworking and really dedicated towards the work. Mm. Even I myself, sir, for at least two to three months, I didn't go near these people, the HCC people. Yeah, yeah. I was just watching because people come and go. Right. The NGOs come and go, mm. but no one is serious about these people. Mm. So when I saw them that they were really meant business, mm. then I tried to help them out, sir. Mm. Because the problem over here is, the, spo the language spoken in Maharashtra is Marathi. Right. Since this taluka is on the border of Karnataka, mm. people here, 75 to 80 percent speak the language of the other state. Canada? Canada. Mm. They all speak fluent Canada. Oh. So it was very difficult for the SEC to get through. So I saw that problem. And since I had a political, political background for my father and myself, so when I could just phone down to these people and say, you just 
the main leaders of this village you please be there and we'll be coming the hcc people will coming so they were there present sir at the time which i told them the hcc people came they told them what they meant and what they wanted to do for changing of the situation and in one meeting things were finished off otherwise because of the language problem the hcc people would come meet someone they couldn't uh, uh, translate the marathi people lang main language is marathi right. so it was very difficult for them it got together and things started very fast sir. i was like uh, uh, the communicating uh, gap between the right. people right. and it really worked yeah. and after that i did not need any int introduction the hcc was known throughout the taluka wherever mr suryanchi and his team was there wow. people would directly go to him whoever could not speak kannada he would take the marathi chap with him and then speak to him in marathi and kannada get his work done because there was no decision there was no higher authority to take decision mr suryanchi saw it over here the situation He phoned up Mr. Philip. Mr. phoned up Mr. Philip. Phoned up Mr. Stephen Davis. This is the situation. We have to get it done. He said yes. It was yes, and tomorrow morning it was done. Wow. So that's the biggest <laughs> belief. What happens is government. It takes months and months. Lots of time is wasted. Yeah. So it, in the process. So things are needed, and if it is given tomorrow morning to you, the people really start believing in you. That's the biggest thing. If people believe in you, now I am there with you, but I have to tell you, it's not a very big thing of myself. But twice I am elected to Panchayat Samiti, but I am I have been elected in a very different way. I have been elected as a bishopite. Hmm. Tell you that people, as you know, you may be reading that we need to spend lot of money, lot of mu muscle power to win an election in India. Right. But I have done it in a different way. I have been elected twice. I have told the people I am not going to fold my hands in front of you and beg. I am not going to touch your feet and beg. Uh. I am not going to give you money. If you think I can be a good member of the Panchayat Samiti, you vote for me. If you don't think I am not a good member, you please vote for Mr. So and So, who is standing opposite to me. <laughs> and that's it. And I won't come back to you before the election. And that's it. Only one meeting I passed away from the village. I didn't go there anything. I was elected. Sir. So people really get that feeling that if you are a really good worker, if you think for them, they really support you. But the thing has to come within us. The confidence should be there, which was given to me by my school. Wow, that's wonderful.